Welcome back to my channel, Presence of a Goddess. Thank you guys for joining me today. Today is just going to be a quick message for the tribe. So make sure you hit that like and that subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Uh, yeah. So let's get into it, y'all. Seeing up our love, peace, and blessings. What do we have for the tribe spirit? Thank you. Insecure. A Scorpio could be insecure, or somebody's insecure because you're shifty. Somebody could be insecure because you're very attractive, you're mysterious, and a lot of people want to get to know you, um, even them, okay? I'm also getting if this is a love interest, they're intimidated by you because you come off as very attractive, seductive. Um, they could get, you know, rock when they see you. If this is a feminine, you know, they get a little moist when they see you it's really given that so you intimidate people through your because like when they see you they don't understand why their body responds the way it does it's like they don't for some of you guys some people just hate the fact that they're attracted to you they wish they weren't they wish they didn't fantasize about you okay <laughs> They wish they didn't want to get to know about you. They wish they wasn't obsessed with you. You have people who could be tracking your page to see when the next time you're going to post something or when you're going to say something to them. Or It's really given that. Like somebody is really obsessed with you and they wish they weren't. Okay. So I told you somebody who has a secret crush on you. Somebody who hates to admit that they're attracted to you in the worst way. They want to do something to you in the worst way. Like they when it comes to, you know, intimacy. <sighs> when it comes to your business, you could be booked and busy. You could be doing something legally, okay? I don't know. Somebody could be saying that um, you're doing something illegal. That's how you're making money, and that's not true. So somebody could be trying to underestimate the way you know how to attract money and men and women, whatever you are attracted to. Someone is trying to like downplay it like oh that's because like they're trying to make it seem like oh it must be you going through loopholes to create financial stability for yourself or to get a man or a woman you must be doing something oh they must be doing like witchcraft because um why would anybody be drawn to them like you know somebody's trying to justify and they, they're like they're saying absurd stuff to, to make you look like you're the one that's crazy because People are drawn to you and they want to make it seem like, oh, it's weird, okay? But they're busy, all right? And I'm also getting whoever this person is, this could be the same sex, especially if you're a feminine. This feminine is the one who's doing like witchcraft and they're trying to say you are doing it, okay? Because they're mad because their witchcraft is not working, okay? Because like things come easy to you or you, you attract a lot of things through tapping into your divine femininity and you know how to draw things into without having to do too much, you know? You don't have to do too much and somebody's mad about this. Somebody could have a shortcut, finger waves could be significant, ow, some about elbows. I'm also hearing no elbows on the table, so somebody could say that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe your grandmother taught you how to be a woman, how to be a lady, okay? Somebody, I don't know, somebody feel like um, they don't know how to be a lady or it doesn't come easy to them. So if it doesn't come easy to them, oh, it must can't come easy to you because you know how to have to, you know how to get your way without being, you know, extra if that makes sense you know how to create new opportunities for yourself there's new opportunities coming in when it comes to a business i do see you being busy and booked okay a lot of people are going to be drawn to you because you're changing something up this could be somebody who has the same business as you or something like that you could be switching things up when it comes to your business you want to get more clientele once you do that you have somebody who's obsessed with you in an intimate way as well. This person's like, they can't, they like, they're trying to figure out why they're so attracted to you. Somebody's manifesting you through their dreams, okay? So if you see somebody in your dreams, they're manifesting you. Yeah, somebody's coming to a realization <laughs> that they like you more than they thought they did, okay? You could be having an aha moment about um, a revelation about what you should you should switch up. 
when it comes to your work ethics or your job or your business. This could be for some of you guys, if this is a nine to five, you could be realizing what you really want to do when it comes to a job. And you're like, I really don't want to do this job anymore. I think I want to switch up and do another job. Some of you guys are switching up jobs. Okay. This could all be happening around Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio season. Unconditional love. Somebody got love for you. Like, they're looking at your photos and they're realizing how much they're in love with you. How much they really, like, somebody's coming to terms like, I really do love tribe. Okay, somebody could definitely be a Scorpio. Like, you're very magnetic. People are very drawn to you. People are very attracted to you. You be having people on rock, rock, or wait, wait, okay? You're not accepting the bare minimum anymore. You could just be chilling. Like, things are just coming to you. You just be chilling. You could be practicing aromatherapy. You could be using, like, incense diffusers, uh, massage oil something like that like you're learning how to just relax your nervous system and just allow things to flow to you when you were growing up the Scorpios do have a hard time with just emotions and they go through some dark stuff so Scorpio you could definitely went through dark stuff growing up and things was not easy to you like things didn't come easy to you but you created new doors. Like, you bust down those doors. You bust down those barriers. You was like, listen, I'm not going to let these barriers hold me back. Because it does get hard for Scorpio for them to experience what other people experience. And you're not letting that happen no more. I really feel like you're becoming a rebel. And you're like, I'm not having my way. But I feel like you're learning how to do it in a way where you just let change flow. You know, if that makes sense. When it comes to a love situation, somebody changed their mind about not liking you. I don't know what that means. Like, somebody can't stop thinking about you. Somebody can't stop looking at your photos. Somebody really want to be with you. They're turned on by you. Yeah, you're special to someone. Someone wants you. Somebody wants to be with you. Somebody wants to massage you down. Somebody wants to oil you down. Somebody want to touch that body. Okay. Yeah, somebody wants to make it official with you. This person is manifesting you. This is why that you could be seeing them in your dreams or your intuition could be telling you this person thinking about you because they're pulling on your energy. They can't stop thinking about you. When they're at work, they can't stop thinking about you. Like, social media. They're looking at your social media. They want to know where you live now. Like, somebody's researching you and trying to see what's good with you. Who is this person? And somebody's trying to see where you've been, what you've been up to. Somebody's looking for you. Okay, for some of you guys, this person don't already know where you at, but like this person could be, I don't know, I guess trying to contact you or find the right words to say how they feel because they can't describe how they feel about you. Queen of Cups here. This could be a feminine energy. This could be Ten of Pentacles. You could have children with this person or you guys know, you may know this person's mother or some woman that's, that, that's in their family. Yeah, ten. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You don't talk to their family no more or something. This is somebody you don't talk to no more. Yeah, you don't talk to them for a cups here, but they want to. They want to. They want to talk to you. They could be asking your family about you, or their family. They could be asking around about you. People that you know. Libra season. Somebody could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Cancer's Leo season. Somebody about to come in and, and tell you, like, listen, I don't know. Some, some about breaking barriers with you. Somebody wants to break barriers with you. Somebody wants to be with you. Like, somebody's like, I don't know if somebody's holding this person back. What's the obstacle? The King of Wands, maybe they have a hard time making a decision. They could be going back and forth whether this is real or not. They're stuck. They could have been stuck in a relationship, living with somebody, but they stopped living with this person and now they want to travel to you. It's something like that. somebody just got a relationship and they're like, okay, I'm done with that relationship. I want to be with you. They could even got caught looking at your photos with their with a current person they was dealing with. Like this person never moved on from you. Like for some of you guys, this could have been like somebody that you didn't even date. Like you could have like known their family or you knew people around them. I'm getting you know a family member of theirs. 
Maybe you was cool with them. You went to a function of theirs. Um, now this person want to get to know you. They want to cut the middleman out and get to know you because they can't stop thinking about you. And you could be seeing this person in your dreams. Okay? <laughs> Love you guys.